time to dilly dally. Can you not hear me? I do hope you are not choosing to ignore me. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I implore you, return to Helheim post-haste and undo whatever it is you've done. And, might I add, Never do it again. We are going. And do try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? Uh... Ring. But uh, what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. <sighs> Atreus! He's probably just scared. He was chained up for a really long time. We can't hurt him, okay? A desperate creature can be the most dangerous. I know. Come on, we gotta get across before he opens up more realms. Yeah. Working with him. It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. Ah! Ah! 
look for Odin. You said it is hard to explain. Why? I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. Can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? How did you have a new weapon? How you did more war? I do not. But... It's complicated? Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Round the pit. Arm's been busy. I can understand how Freya close one. Keep the enemies away if you can. I can. Let me know when you're ready. I bet if we follow those Hellwalkers up there, we find Garn. Lassa Rifa. Lassa Rifa. Thanks for coming back with me. You didn't have to. I am your father. I will always help. As long as I am able. It's good to hear, too. Tell me. What were you doing in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found and a magical rift that's connected to it. It's all sort of... Complicated. Yeah. But I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe. But I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus. I... Let's just figure out how this gate works. Okay? Tearing this whole realm apart. 
a notch in the pillar here that your spear could probably fit. But we need a better angle. doesn't want Ragnarok. I, I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. I can't let Ragnarok happen either. I would have helped you. I know. Wait, he's right here! Okay! Okay! It, it's okay, boy! It's all right. Just calm. Calm. We, we just want to... Oh! <laughs> 
We can squeeze through here. If Odin truly wishes to avoid Ragnarok, then we are in agreement. Yeah, and what's that spear for? To protect you. Don't you have other weapons for that? What are these guys doing here? They are dead. Oh, yeah. Good point. If you're not preparing for Ragnarok, then seriously, why the fear? I share. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the question. Alka! I think my arrows will stick to the wood up there.
close. Promise me you won't kill him, okay? I make no promises, but I will try not to kill the beast. forward but looks like there's a notch in the wall will your spear fit into it your plan I'm sort of making it up as I go but you're not talking about Varn you cannot outsmart Odin it's worked so far has it now what I'm gonna try to tame it tame it sure I've tamed wolves before Gone. You freeze his chains with your axe so we can't run and latch him onto something. No, too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Your transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, do it my way. Yes, sir. Go! Oh! 
Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? Now who does not trust? Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just... I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. I think we need to get up to that ledge up there. But how? There is always a way. <laughs> Do you see? Oh, why didn't I think of that? The solution is not always obvious. Beyond reason, Atreus! Back up! 
I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Can we just go home now? Atreus. I know. Close my heart to it. Another locked door? Changing arrows! <laughs> 
find him. The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? <gasps> We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. 
What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. We let someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to Mom? See what I can do when you trust me? told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me. That's what your spear's for, isn't it? Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Trust the faith. Why do you care what they say? If it comes to your life, I can take no chances. The Mystic Gateway got buried. I have it. Strong. I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and 
before. I... I chased you away. Without you? I got reckless. Overconfident. Made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Hmm. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh, before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. You're back. How did it go? The beast should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything. Is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. 
You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tyr. I believe you just might. Hey, wait! We're with you. Checking on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. <laughs> Don't 
Mr. Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. everyone stay alert I don't like this brother Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildas Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's boar. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Leads the search party for Freyr and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. I imagine you had a way past this. and you'll find they're dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars! <laughs> Think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you? <sighs> the usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, <laughs> broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. 
but so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. different from the other realms. It's warm, like Spartalfon, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Thought his Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. <laughs> Why was he exiled? I had to ask him for the full tale, but I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Ah! 
told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold. <laughs> Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Anoyar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or is that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? 
They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try that first. Besides all the Feeny and the Elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. There's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Get it, 
behind you, watch out! <laughs> that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. <clears throat> hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh... Come on! <clears throat> a double ambush? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> 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 She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. Aye, and there's that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Whoa! What is that? A wyvern! Nasty go, beast! Go. Be careful, wyvern! Is 
this? It's from Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Clean out your left flank! <laughs> 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 Straight into Rat? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Slot. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Perhaps Freya will know. 
So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodus Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cab. Look out! Same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. But not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros. We can get across from up here.
So, we report back to Hilda's Feeney. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Ah, that wrinkly mud belongs to Helka. She's a blowsunder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Nice work with the wolves. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Creating more! <laughs> Yo, fuck! 
Alpha. Impressive. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Enemy behind you, Kratos! more soldiers since our last visit. Mm. Our disadvantages are many. Out of 
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Making good time. <laughs> Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive.
Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. Alas, we're on Neath Hog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhope protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. <laughs> <laughs> Extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespanian and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. <laughs> See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Here. Have some life on me. Come on, not animals. I thought I would at least break a sweat. Whoa! What did Ghoul Toll Forever do to you? Oh! Did you want some more? Huh! 
So aggressive. So angry. Write him down, Ghoul Topa. Not going to lie. I was disappointed. Your frustration, you know. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Uh, hilarious! The scion of the Aesir brought down by an old geezer's cane. Uh, hey, careful! These are new braces. Resemblance now. No. No. Like father, like son. like a goose when he gets hurt. Better than this fight. Actually hit me. <laughs> there we are. 
Armor fit for a cop. You hit him once! Just gotta find the right opening! You strike like a sloppy cow! Slow it down! When was the last time I even used you? You think you can bring down the Asgard? Real. Slow down. He's open. Enough. <laughs> What is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go and you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You are way over your head! Don't you 
you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Ace, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! Slow it down. Only one of us is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you. How dare you try and spare me? I am growing very sick. My turn. Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Yeah, so 
Guess what? Oh. You got hit by another ambush. Fire sir. We need to get him out of here. I'll cover him, but we can't get through the door. We're trapped. <laughs> I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow! Easy! To me! Follow! We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, we're almost there, right? Archers ahead! Oh, seriously? Nothing! Oh. Right? On your right! Keep going! We're almost at the river! Oh, 
about the girl? Where's the boat? Throw it in the river. Hurry now. That won't hold them for long. Whoa! Of course! It's East Bosnia. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go. in your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. smoothly. I think that's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. We'll see. He... Uh, he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment.
Lunda! Lunda, we need cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh. Now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah! Damn it, Lunda! Easy. Heck you says to me for? I'm the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary. Not because it was written. <laughs>